Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the Rowl MG. One of you in comments asked me, what do I think about the Rowl? I haven't touched the Rowl in Modern Warfare 3, and I barely touched it in Modern Warfare 2. I did get it to Orion Camo. This is Obsidian because now I'm going for the Weapon Mastery charm. So I thought I'd give it a try and see how it did. And boy, was I glad I did. Was I glad he asked the question because this is an absolute beast. I was unbeatable with it in the 10 games that I played all free for all. Let's take a look at the configuration. I'll start with the 50 round belt and you know grandpa is going against his own catechism here when I say in free for all take the largest magazine. I felt I didn't need it. 50 rounds were fine and look what it does for the mobility. Helps significantly. 26% with the ADS movement speed. You're not going to be bouncing off the walls at 2.4 meters per second but you're also not going to feel like your feet are mired in quicksand. Sand. ADS speed, it helped at 14%. Glacial pace, 334 milliseconds. And 30%, 151 milliseconds on the sprint to fire speed. That's significant. Let's look at the rest of the statistics while we're here. The headshot and damage is 57, upper torso of 52, making this a three shot kill to the effective damage range, which happens to be 40 meters. Way out there on any map I'm going to be playing. 44 meters for the Oh, I'm sorry. 44 damage for the lower torso and upper legs. The minimum damage range is 56 meters. Decent rate of fire at 554.9 rounds per minute. Not great, but it's not the lowest you'll ever see. But the bullet velocity, you can get those 40 meter kills at 823 meters per second. Look, look at the recoil. It is not bad at all. 22 on the gun kick, 14 and a half on the horizontal, which is almost nothing. And vertical recoil of 49 very controllable the hip fire not great not bad i won't go over that i won't be doing any tax stancing because you have to plan on doing that and my plan says no the mobility not the fastest weapon you're going to be running with i mean this is an lmg it's not a pistol so have a look there but again the sprint to fire speed 151 milliseconds i'm going to use that in free for all the stip 40 grip stip 40 Helps with the recoil, minimally, no downsides. The demo nimble stock also helps with mobility. ADS movement speed 14% is notable for composite 2.4 meters per second, no downsides. X Golf, EXF Golf, 16 inch barrel. Range is hurt a little bit, but the range is much further than what we're going to need. Helps again with the recoil and the accuracy, except for the hip fire, but only 3%. They might as well not even publish that. Mobility is somewhat impacted, but 6% or below, so it's not going to be that bad. The Demo Narrow Grip hurts mobility but you get to hold the weapon on the side and that looks really cool. So yes, we have to have that one. We're gonna be walking around, holding the weapon on the side, looking like a gangsta, gacking people. So let's take this beast onto the field of honor and see how it did for grandpa. All right, let's get into this with a look at the numbers. Fire rate, comparing the route to the DG-58. DG-58 wins big. The Rao wins for bullet velocity and damage across the board. Red is bad for the bat. Rao. Green is good. Highlighted red or green. Very good or very bad. So you can see that the fire rate is an important aspect of a weapon, but it's not the only aspect, as we'll see in a second, because damage range comes into play as do another another uh, as do other items well i'm tongue-tied today so i really didn't know what to expect out of the row in fact i wasn't expecting a lot the only reason why i pulled this one out was because one of the subs one of you subs asked me what i thought about it when you look at the range, significantly better for the row in just about every way. Effective damage range and minimum damage range. 37 meters is going to reach out and get you. And it's better if you hit the upper torso. Headshots are worthless for both guns pretty much unless you can hit four with a DG-58. 
But hitting that upper torso, your time to kill is much faster. And remember, time to kill isn't everything. Look at the ranges one more time. You can extend out to 37 meters with a row. And finally, the recoil. Pretty much, I'm going to call it a draw between the two, but the performance... The DG-58 wins with a faster aim down sight speed, faster reload. It reloads more like an AR. The RAL reloads like an LMG. But the RAL not only packs a bigger punch, but it can take more of a punch. So that's an advantage for the RAL. First map was the always bloody. Das Haus, so I took Das Rau, both sound German, into Das Haus to do some Das Gacking. And I stayed with the leader, with Elvis the King, at the beginning, biding my time, taking hits, falling down, but I get back up again. Was that Chumbawamba tub thumping? I get knocked down, but I get up again. And that's the advantage of playing war versus going to war. Going to war, you get knocked down. Somebody's got to pick you back up. So he managed to get a one-point lead. By the way, you better have a good <laughs> secondary if you take a 50 rounds with a row. It seemed to be enough, but a few times I had to switch to the Renetti with the jack kit. I mean, there are bullets flying everywhere. Look at there. Somebody's got a Wilson. A little wheelie. There goes a lady dressed for the beach. And man, shoddies are everywhere. They're in style in Das House. But I do manage to get a small lead here. And I'm feeling good with the row. The thing feels powerful. Look at that. I'm just holding it down because I know the guy's camping. Was that the king? Elvis was camping. This jolly green giant. You can just hold it down when you know somebody's there, and it just obliterates them. It takes every pixel and sends it to the moon. Just need two more Gax, and we've won this one. Tight game. Oh, white furry Tribble put a knife in me. Need one more Gax before the enemy gets two. There it is. So the Rao performed well. I was actually pretty shocked because I didn't like this weapon too much in Modern Warfare 2. Didn't use it a lot. It was used against me with a lot of success, though. I have to admit that. And the reason it's an obsidian camo there is I like it so much, I'm going to go ahead and get the mastery for it. Okay, I dropped into this map well behind i've already got three gax and i turned on the recorder so we're going to see if we can fight our way back from being six lives down i always throw out the proximity mines i leave leave a link on how to play free for all or how grandpa plays and i'm sure you already know you have your techniques and like I said, hold the trigger down and turn the corner, and you're a Gakamo machine. Yeah, I better switch to the Renetti. I'm down, I think, to less than 20 rounds, less than 15. Reloaded, and I'm back in action. I won't show you any of the reloads. They're about seven seconds. But if you want to feel power, try the row. I realize that there are stats that it just doesn't excel in. But that doesn't matter because you know what? You get to hold the thing on the side. And by the way, there's a bonus game at the end. It's another bloody stash house map. There I go. Reloaded. Ready for action. I find myself down by eight lives now. There goes my next victim. 
Now, you, you feel like you got a, an LMG when you're running around. You're carrying that thing on your, on your chest, and you're just not running very fast. Go. And also, something to note is that when you're spraying lead and you're hitting the enemy, they're actually, I always get gacked when I pull out a turret, you're, they're actually flinching more with the RAL than the DG-58. So their shot is not going to be as accurate coming back at you. I'm in third place. Still six lives down. Somebody, is that a Toronto Ultra uniform he's wearing? They did well in the tournament this weekend, though. Optic kind of blew them out in the grand final. You can even gack a mo if somebody hits you with a shock stick. There's no chance if they stab you. Down by eight lives, and it's getting old. Getting long in the tooth in this game. Shock stick again. There's the stabber. The ultra stabber. And we're trying to fight our way back here. Never give up. Never give in. And that's the king camping in the corner. Elvis is a corner camper in this game, too. Managed to get within three. There's the blueberry. The, the masked blueberry. And something weird happened in this game. We're in second now. We fought our way up from being down six lives at the start when we spawned in. Being eight down where we earned ourselves. And like I said, you need to get a Renetti. And there's the blueberry, master blueberry, and we're tied. And I think the guy who was the king gave up on us and just left. So there's not quite a Snickers victory, but it's a victory nonetheless. You got to try the row. It is awesome. Here's the bonus game. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers, peace, and enjoy. It'll continue after the F4 pops its shoot.
Mission time is half complete. Secure the victory. The mission is complete. Good work.